easily one of my all-time favorite hip-hop beats. Very, very happy to have it on my channel. The introduction to this song is going to go as follows on the right hand. You're going to start up here on an A. A, A, D flat, G flat, A flat, E, E, A flat, E flat, C, G flat, A flat. And then at the end of it, there's a fermata, which means you hold it out until you're ready to go into the verse. There's no set time you have to hold it out, just hold it out until you're ready. And underneath what I just played in the right hand, there's going to be just a D flat in the left hand. And that just holds out. So, once through, your introduction should sound something like this. That's the introduction to this song. So the trickiest part about picking up this song is easily the left hand. I have some good news for you, however. It is on loop. So once you got the loop down, there's really not much else to worry about. Um, you're going to start down here on a D flat. Then you're going to come up here to an E. E, D flat. And then you're going to play D flat, E flat. You get two beats of rest where you're playing nothing in the left hand. You're going to repeat what you just played, so... And then the uh, second half of the second measure is what changes each time through the loop. The first time through the loop, it's... That's an E, and then an E flat, E flat. So the first time through your left hand loop should sound something like this. And then the second time through your loop, it's going to be uh, the first measure and a half is going to be the same as the first, so I'll play that part of it. And then this time, instead of playing, you're going to be playing down here on a B. So that's B, B, B. So once all the way through your left hand bass line should sound something like this. your left hand bass line. Now your right hand during your verses is going to start here on a G flat minor chord in its second inversion that's composed of D flat, G flat, and A. You're going to go, you're going to play that G flat, A flat, E, G flat, E flat, E. From there you're going to go to a G flat minor in its first inversion. That's G flat, D flat, and A. Same chord as before, just a different inversion. We went from the second to the first. We're going to go from there to a D flat minor in its second inversion. A flat, D flat, and E. From there, you're going to go to an A flat major in its root inversion. A flat, C, E flat. And then the, uh, like the... Of the last measure, the second half switches each time through the loop. So the first time through the loop, uh, what you're going to play in the second half of the last measure, you're going to play uh, that D flat minor chord in its second inversion again. So you're just going to go. So the first time through, the right hand for your verse should sound like this. Now the second time is exactly the same as the first, only instead of playing this at the very end, that D flat minor chord, in its second inversion, you're going to be playing E, G flat, A flat, C. Uh, excuse me, that sounds weird. Yeah, that's right, okay. It's not a C, it's a D flat, that's my fault. That's that um digital choir or vocal line that they bring in uh, every second time through the loop. So, once all the way through your loop, your right hand for your verse should, should sound something like this.
That's the right hand from your verses. Putting together the bass line that I showed you from before, together with your right hand from your verses, you should get something like this for your verse backing track. track for your verses. And then there's a synth lead that shows up in the chorus when Eminem and Jay-Z are going back and forth saying, Renegade, never been afraid to say what's on my mind, etc, etc. That lead synth line that you're going to hear in the chorus is going to go as follows. It's going to start here on an A, A, A flat, E flat, E, D flat, A, D flat, A flat. So once through, that lead synth line is going to go That's the lead synth line from your chorus. Putting together that lead synth line from your chorus together with the same left hand we've been using. I'm going to play octaves for this section, but you should get something like this for the synth line in your chorus. That's all I need to know to play Renegade by Jay-Z featuring Eminem. Be on the lookout for Promise You'll Find Us, Thomas Aquinas, my brand new album coming out in 2013. New York Jets quarterback Mark Sanchez said, I like to listen to this album before games. No, 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 come on. We need something better than that. Ah, here we go. 
Dallas Cowboys quarterback Tony Romo said, I love Matt McClossey's new album. I only got picked six times after I listened to it. Come on, we need something better than that. Ah, here we go. Detroit Lions defensive lineman Nagamakan Sue said, I love this album. It gets me pumped. It also makes me want to kick Jay Cutler in the nuts.